Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make your Kodi look like Netflix. And this example I'm also going to use as my database um, to scrape data. Normally I like to use my personal library, but just to make things simple because I know a lot of you don't use your own personal library for movies and TV shows, I'm going to use Exodus. So um, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to System and then Appearance. And then we're, we're right here on the skin section and we're just going to scroll over to the right here and we're going to click on where it says Confluence. And we're going to go to the right and choose Get More. So we'll just scroll down here to the bottom and we're going to be looking for Titan. So here's Titan, we're just going to click on it. And it's going to begin installing. This may take a few minutes. So now that it's finished installing, we're going to say yes to keeping this change. So now as you see, we'll just take it back. This is just the plain old Titan um, default skin. So we're just going to go back into settings here. And then we're going to go into skin settings. And then you can choose whether fan art missing. You're going to say yes to that, and then you'll just go down to weather. You don't have to do this, it's not a big deal, but I like to keep it all consistent. So I'll just choose default here, choose whatever you like. I'm just going to go to the first option, weather fan art faded. Uh, studio logos, I'm going to also say I want to do that as well. And then I'm just going to choose the one. I, I like the studio icons white. Install these as well. Okay, so now we'll just hit back. And now we're back at the skin settings screen. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go to the right where it says home screen layout, tight end tiles. So we're going to just click on that and we're just going to go down to Netflix home menu layout two. This is one I, I like to use. And then what we'll do is we'll go to configure widget rows. So by default, this is all the default settings and this is pointing to your local libraries. I'm just going to delete all of these here. And I'm going to hit add. So to get this, the grab the content from Exodus, um, you're going to go down to here to add-ons, video add-ons, Exodus, and then here's all the different categories that you'd be accustomed to when using Exodus. Um, my movies, what you can do is I don't have a track set up, but if you had track set up, you could you could add your movie list and your TV show list. But since I don't have that installed, I'm just going to go to movies, and then you could break it down by genre, people watching. I'm going to choose people watching um, because this will probably get updated the most, so the content will be changing. So. I'll just do people watching and you'll click on create menu item here and then we'll go to um, add again and then we'll go to add on again video add-ons exodus tv shows and you could choose um, most popular here or people watching however you want i'm just going to choose most popular for now this is just a brief, brief tutorial just so you guys know that you can get it to look like Netflix. So I'm just going to create the, the menu item here so it will list everything below this category. So right now you'll see that one says people watching and that was under movies. So that may not be self-explanatory for you. So you can just go over here and do set label. So you could change it to let's say 
movies people watching and just hit OK and most popular we'll just go over here and we'll just set the label to that and choose TV most popular and then hit OK and now that these widgets have been created we'll just hit close here and another thing I like to do is, since this is grabbing off of Exodus, it's not going to auto refresh the widget screen. So you might go in there and it's always going to look the same unless you actually exit out of Cody and come back in. So what you can do is you can enable that the power button has the option to reload the skin, which will then refresh the skin to whatever's the latest. And this works um, really well if you're using track lists and you add stuff to your track list that may be a widget. So we'll go to configure shortcuts and then we'll go to edit menu or, or sorry, customize power menu. And right now we just have these three settings here, settings, quit, shutdown and reboot. I just hit add there and then I'm going to go down to Cody command. And you'll just scroll down here and choose reload skin. And what this will do is it'll fo force the screen to refresh the widgets and give you the latest content. So we'll just click close here. And then we'll just click on back until we get to the main screen. And you'll see that now everything's being built. And beautiful. Um, you'll see all the options here. Of, see, these are the, the movies people watching that we put in. Fills at the top. Very similar to Netflix. Really enjoy the, the look and feel of this. Um, I personally use my, my local library. And this will use also my MB. So whenever a show gets uploaded, it will automatically refresh the screen. But since this is coming off Exodus, what you're going to need to do is to have the content update, you're going to have to hit the left arrow. And here you'll see the different options, which you can customize. You'll go up to the top to the power icon. And then you'll just go to reload skin. And what this will do is it will refresh the entire widgets to make sure it has the latest content. So I'm just going to do a couple more edits here because I don't like seeing these options here on the left. What you can do is just go back into settings by hitting the left arrow and then you'll go into skin settings again and then you'll go to configure shortcuts and then go to the right and choose edit menu shortcuts and here's all the different options that you have so if you if there's something you want to add here all you have to do is hit add and choose whatever setting you like if if it's video library, specials, you just put it in there. I'm, I'm not going to actually select anything. This is just a quick show. But if you don't like something here, so now this was the blank one that I just created. You just scroll over to the right and choose delete. Um, I did not want to see music, so I'll just hit delete there. I didn't like seeing YouTube on the left hand side, so I'll just click delete. And now that I've made all the changes that I want, I'm just going to hit close. So, r right there. Oh. So now you'll see on the left hand side all the options that you have available. You can add more, as I showed you, you can remove. So, just to get back to the screen, you could just hit the right arrow. And now when we go into, I'm going to go into Suicide Squad here. And as you can see, it's starting to play, like it's scraping right away. I'm not going to let it play, but you can see what I'm getting at here. And now for TV shows, we'll go into Season 1. And here you'll get the um, default vertical layout. I'm just going to go over, hit the left arrow, and I'm going to change the view list here. 
I'm going to go all the way to the bottom and choose Netflix. So this will be making it look like Netflix, obviously. So very familiar looking. I'll just do the back arrow here. And I'm just going to switch this as well. I believe I have the option again for Netflix here. And there you go. So yeah, this is just um, a nice quick tutorial to make your Kodi look like Netflix. Um, works really well, exceptionally well with your local libraries. Um, but when you are going off of Exodus or other add-ons, you will have to manually refresh this. This doesn't refresh on its own unless you're exiting out and coming back in. So hopefully this video was informative. Um, it is a quick video. If you have any questions about it, I could just leave them in the below and I'll be sure to answer them. And hopefully you like it. So leave a like, subscribe if you can, and share if you'd like. And I'll see you in the next one. Yeah.